Whatever programs that we design, whatever we offer through this university, it has got to have an international <coughs> interest in it. The curriculum has got to be international in nature, that it could fit an Indian requirement, or a Bahraini requirement, or a Saudi requirement, or an Indonesian requirement, or a Malaysian requirement. So we've got to be flexible in terms, uh, in terms of structure, how we, how we structure it. And of course, the content has got to be international in nature. Uh, we also pride ourselves by having what we call Asianness within within us. Things we have Asian culture, we have Asian. We are moving into Asian history, we are moving into Asian civilization. So our students also have this Asian feel, uh, Asian feel to it. Uh, while I say that you know we are not so parochial of being Asians, but basically we're saying that Asia has some special needs when you talk about the Asian members of this particular dialogue. As I mentioned earlier, we have got the least developing nations like Nepal, Bhutan. Bhutan may be least developed, but they're one of the happiest nations in the world. You know, Sri Lanka, you know, Laos, and these are poor countries, uh, kind of thing. And then we have on the other end of the spectrum, Japan, Korea, Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we are supposed to cover that whole range. Mm -hmm. Naturally, some of them act more as donors, and some of them act more as recipients. So when you, when you engage yourself with Singapore, with Korea, with Japan, with Russia, etc., we're looking at them as donors of programs, donors of curriculum, donors of what they call uh, best practices, that kind of thing. When you look at the other countries, like uh, what they call Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Laos, Indonesia, we look at them more as recipients. So we bring from donor to the recipient. So we are a, we are a platform that cuts across, kind of thing. Then there are some countries like Malaysia, which, ex which does both. We sometimes donate also sometimes receive, so it depends on what we do. India is the same. So in India, our engagement is we're bringing some programs into India, at the same time we're taking some programs out of India. Mm -hmm. So we do, uh, we do that uh, as well. Yes. Then our engagement uh, goes beyond Asia. We engage in practically all the continents of the whole world right now. Uh, we engage in Australia, we engage in what they call in America, we in, the, in America we're particularly proud because Stanford Institute in top, in top with us to do some innovative courses, short courses, short programs. We're developing an MBA in innovation management. That's what we're doing with the Stanford kind of thing. Uh, with uh, with uh, France, we're engaged with Paris Graduate School of Management. With Scandinavian countries, we're engaged with them offering MBA. As I said, we start from the postgraduate downwards, so we have more PhDs and MBAs and masters than we have undergraduate students. So if you look at our profile, uh, our undergraduate is only at the moment now 5% of our student body, 95% is postgraduate. You know. So we're basically a postgraduate institution. But we are now slowly looking at how do we get down to the undergraduate level because much of Asia also requires a lot of basic uh, degree qualifications rather than the postgraduate uh, qualifications. So we're looking at partners because I do not want to reinvent the wheel. There are a lot of partners out there who have got very strong, good undergraduate programs that we could partner them with bring this to other parts of Asia, rather than we develop those programs uh, ourselves. Kind of thing. So that's how we are we are looking and uh, we are actually basically scanning the world and looking at which particular partners we go with. Uh, and we are looking for, uh, we would like to be seen, as I said, we are, we are business unusual. Maybe a crude way of saying it, we would like to be seen like a supermarket. That you can come to Asia University and you've got a choice. It is not a fixed menu. It is more buffet. You can pick and choose your, your programs from whichever country that you'd like to, to take from, uh, kind of thing. And you know, because that's your choice. Because you would like you would like to have a QE qualification. You take a QE qualification to us. You would like to have uh, you know an English qualification. You take an English qualification to us, kind of thing. And also mention to them the various kind of flexible models we have in engaging with different institutions in the world. Basically, we have five different models that we should run. Uh, for engagement together with the donor as well as the recipient.